Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Rainy. What about you? What about you? Raining. <laughs> it's raining here, but I'm doing fine. Thank you. It's raining right now there? A lot. Uh, so we're going to cross our fingers for the electricity. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, because yeah. when it's raining, it, the, the electricity is cutting down. Usually we have blackouts, but hopefully no. Hopefully <laughs> there's no blackouts because, yeah, it starts to rain, but it's raining a lot. So if you hear the rain uh, yes. or the thunders, it's because of that, right? Yes, okay. I can hear a little bit the noise. Yeah, because the window is open. When the window is yeah. open, yeah, the signal is better. Mm -hmm. But you hear the noise of the rain. But maybe the weather is cold. Wow. <laughs> Not that nice. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah, the weather improves. Hey, hey. So we are still waiting for people. So we're still, yes. Roberto doesn't listen to this. Roberto Carlos, hey, check, check the microphone of your computer or your device, please. Yes, the volume is fine here. Okay. Fix your microphone. Yes, Roberto Carlos. So I'm gonna write, check your microphone, please. All right. Well, hopefully we're able to have the class normally, <laughs> okay? Is it raining in San Miguel? No? Um. Uh, um, suddenly appear that it it was raining, but right now it's it's only cloudy. Um, raining softly. After Julia, no more heavy rain. <laughs> yes, yes. Unfortunately, Julia was terrible. Yes, was terrible. Yes, here in San Miguel was uh, a serious damage. To different neighborhood to near here was terrible. Okay, I'm gonna excuse myself for a second. I'm just gonna go and close the door, all right? Sorry, I can hear very well. Hello, Mr. Hector. Hello. How are you, Walter? I'm fine. Maybe yeah. maybe the teacher get in trouble for the for the storm over there right now. I think so. I, I'm here in, in in San Salvador, in New York. <laughs> Uh, it's raining today, uh, today, and maybe the uh, internet is down. Yes, yes. I think, but uh, teacher is in again. Sorry, I can hear very well. Uh, the teacher, teacher not here. It's not here because maybe it's getting trouble for the connection, for the internet connection. But I see Inglés Corporativo, uh, I don't know. 
Yes. I think wait uh, a few a few minutes. Uh, wait. Uh -huh. uh huh. I don't know. In Samuel is is raining. For the moment, no. Oh. It's only cloudy. Oh. Good. Very hot. Hey, teacher. Welcome again. Yes, thank you. Can you hear me better now? Yes. This is the best I can do. <laughs> I already <laughs> closed all the windows and all the doors. Okay. So maybe I'm going to shout. I'm going to scream so that you can hear me better. All right. Hey, hello, Roberto Carlos. Welcome. We also have, for the first time, probably Catherine, Cristina, and Vitalia. Welcome. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Good evening. How are you? It's almost in the rain. <laughs> It's raining. Yes. A lot. Yes. Now San Salvador is under a big rain. But I hope everything is going to be okay. All right? Let's cross the fingers. <laughs> okay. All right? So first things first, let's see what class do we have today. This is our third class. This is our class number three. And today's day is Wednesday, October the 19th. The 19th of October. Actually, today is International Cancer Day. You know, the fight against cancer. Teacher. Yes. Maybe it's my computer, but the, the, the volume is low. The audio. Uh -huh, the audio, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, it may be the internet connection. Uh, I, okay. Yeah, I have a problem with the internet. No, here too. <laughs> um, ah, <laughs> because oh. of the rain. It's raining a lot. Yep. Here, también aquí está lloviendo. <laughs> it's raining here too. Yep, yep. All right. So let's wait. Maybe the rain is going to get softer. And the connection should improve. Yes? Okay. So as I okay, was okay. saying, yes, as I was saying, today is Wednesday, October 19th of 2022. Let's try our best for, you know, these are reminders for the classes, your attendance, and the way we should be connected on the platform on Zoom with the camera, using the chat, using the breakout room, and all that. The objective for this for the unit one is the same one, right? To express what services and characteristics of make restaurants more appealing to customers. Organize a basic restaurant menu with features, appetizers, or snacks, main courses, desserts, or drinks options. Describe an action plan to introduce a new item on a menu, provide suggestions about the promotional activities of a product. Okay, these are the fanboys, the, sen the sentences connectors, the coordinating conjunctions that we studied yesterday. You know, maybe we found it a little bit difficult to use them because we are not, or we don't have the habit of creating or connecting sentences, right? So maybe we do it, but unconsciously without paying attention. Okay, I'm using but, I'm using or, or so, or yet, right? So we just use them naturally, okay? So this is just a small review of that topic from yesterday. Let me just move this a little bit. Fanboys, remember is the acronym that we form from F-A-N-B-O-Y-S, right? So four, and students have to read their textbooks 
Because or for each class is based on theories students need to learn. The reason why students have to read their textbooks is that each class is based on theory students need to learn, okay? Obviously, we need the comma and we need the conjunction, right? So this is something we're gonna be studying a little bit and I'm gonna share this, um, yeah, this material with you as well. We're going to make a review of that, of that topic that we studied yesterday, okay? Yes, the rain improved. Now it's not very heavy anymore. Can you hear me better? Pues estoy gritando, díganme. <laughs> Am I shouting? Teacher, no grite, we can listen. Así está bien, el audio teacher. está bien. Hey, yeah, good evening, good evening. So you can hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Okay, nice. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, teacher. Hey. Eh. Bueno, yo este, entré hasta ahorita, <coughs> no podía entrar, no sé por qué, no, y así hay varios que no han podido entrar. Really? Sí, no sé I qué pasa con el I enlace. Zoom was update, and you need res, um... Oh, an update for Zoom. Yes. Ah. And you need update. login again. Y de volver a registrarse. Yes. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carlos. Ah, ahorita I'm sorry, I was really focused. And I was just struggling with all this noise from the rain, but thank you. Thank you, Adriana. Check for Zoom updates. Exactly. Es cierto, cuando el Zoom tiene algún update, lo rechaza. Alguien mandó un video que está en traffic under the rain. And that is Wendy. Ay, por Wendy. Traffic today was the worst ever. Ok, yes. I'm sorry, Wendy. Oh my God. Take care, yes, be careful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hector, thank you. You are not alone. Bueno, tal vez le reconforta aquí están también enviando más messages. Ustedes no eran los únicos que les pedí ese update. Hay otro montón en otros grupos. That's really necessary. Hey, Roberto Carlos, nice to meet you. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Nice to meet you. Um, Everything okay? Uh, thanks. Yeah, I'm okay. Where are you from? I from. I live in Ilopango. Oh really? So you're from San Salvador, let's say. Yes, yeah. I live in San Salvador. Nice, great. Because here we have people from San Miguel, from Sonsonate, from. Where else? From the Salvador, of course. And Hector is from Chalatenango. <laughs> no. No, I'm here in San Salvador. So San Salvador. Oh, San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, close. Close by, near. How about yeah. Vitalia? Vitalia, where are you from? Hello. Hi. In San Miguel. From San Miguel too. From San Miguel. Oh my goodness. Just like just like Walter and like Nuri. Right? Yes. I see, I remember. Welcome. 
This is your first time in class. Yes? Catherine? Catherine, Catherine, where are you from? No signal. Hey. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. Good evening. Um, I live in Olocuilta. Olocuilta. You see, another reason to go to eat <laughs> <laughs> yes. We can go and meet Catherine in Olocuilta. Nice. All right. So it is time to have the attendance. Yes, I see uh, most of you have connected. Yes, some people say unable to connect. Okay. Mayra says, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine, for sharing the video as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you see that video? Not yet? No. No, okay. not yet. All right. Not yet, teacher. It's all right. Okay, let's have the attendance. Adriana. Present. Hello. Amilcar. Carlos. Carlos? <laughs> Cesar. Cesar Antonio never participated before, right? Anyways, Christina. Present. Hi. Elsie. Present. Hello, welcome. Fatima. Present teacher. Fermán. I am not sure. I was in the one moment. Uh, I was driving in, in, in my house. Be careful. Okay. All right. Let's see. Next, Hazel. Hector. Teacher. Hey. I'm here. All right. Isabel. Present teacher. Hello, welcome. Is it raining inside of Bango? Yes. It's uh, raining inside. A, a little. Yes. yes. Thank God. Uh, all, right. all right. Catherine. Lucy. Present teacher. Hello. Mayra says tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Nuri. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. Present. Hi. Present teacher. Samuel. Samuel hasn't been able to enter, right? Okay. Samuel, maybe tomorrow. Vitelia. Present teacher. All right. Walter. Present. I'm here. Hi. And Irma, was Irma able to connect? No, she wasn't. No, oh, so sad. All right. Yeah. Yes, no sé si me no, no escuché. <laughs> Carlos. Yeah. Hi. Yes, it's all right. No problem. I saw you. <laughs> I saw you on the camera, so I know you were here. Okay. Okay.
What was the topic from yesterday? Uh -huh. Fanboys. Fanboys, okay, or coordinating conjunctions, right? So, we were making a review. Estamos haciendo un repaso, es un review, okay, of the topic from yesterday. We are repeating, we are creating some sentences, right? And of course, that's going to help us to review. Okay. Oh my God. I'm going to share the screen again so that we can continue checking the examples and reading the sentences. All right. All right. Okay. okay. So the first sentence I told you for introduces a reason, yes? So the students have to read their textbooks for each class is based on theories the students need to learn. So the students need to read their libros de texto. Ya que o por qué cada clase está basada en teorías que ellos necesitan aprender. So, for this reason, because of this, right, they need to have, they need to read their textbooks, all right? And you know that it's just an extra idea, adding another idea to the first one. And it says, earning a college degree requires a lot of dedication and it costs a lot of money. Una otra idea, es como agregar una idea similar a la previa, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, el conseguir un, un degree de college, es un grado universitario, requiere a lot of dedication and it costs a lot of money. Y también cuesta mucho dinero, right? Especially, well, in our country, you know, education has to be paid. Yeah, you need to pay for education. If you need a college degree, yeah, you should invest in education. And sometimes even elementary education of parents prefer to invest money in children education rather than sending them to public school. So it's also an investment. Nor, Aquí vemos lo que ayer creo que nos confundió un poco. Que cuando agregamos la segunda idea, y necesariamente tiene que ser una oración, como no podemos poner nor y la otra oración también negativa, lo que hacemos es iniciar con el auxiliar. Employees do not want, sorry, employers do not want employees who cannot solve problems. Nor do they want workers who are lazy. Yeah, unfortunately, this is true. <laughs> so, employers, o sea, las personas que dan empleos, ¿verdad? Los empleadores do not want employees who cannot solve problems. Ellos no quieren empleados que no puedan resolver problemas, nor tampoco do they want workers who are lazy. Tampoco ellos quieren our workers the same days. And but contrasting either positive and negative or negative and positive uh, ideas. Going to school while working at a job is difficult, but the rewards will pay off later. Aquí lo que estoy tratando de decir es que el ir a la escuela durante no tiene un trabajo es muy difícil, pero La recompensa valdrá la pena más tarde, right? So I'm saying this is difficult. So it's a hard action to do, but later you will be happy, okay? So the reward will pay off later, yes? So something that is not so positive, but then you have something positive. Students in either buy their textbooks or they can rent it from a book rental service. 
Aquí tienen dos opciones. Eso es como esto o esto. Like that in Spanish, right? Generalmente, el or va acompañado de either. Tiene o esta opción o esta otra. Entonces, lo que acá dice es, students can either, podrían buy their textbook or o podrían rentarlos from a book rental service. I don't think that's a possibility in our country, right? Either you buy it or you buy it. <laughs> so you don't have that possibility. Or maybe you can find the books from, or you can borrow the books probably from a library. Or you can buy a second hand store books, right? Libros de usados. But you, if you still want to learn, you're still able to learn. Okay? Yet, learning can be very exciting and invigorating. Invigorating. Oh my God, this is a new word for me, actually. Yet, it can also be exhausting. Sí, el aprendizaje puede ser exciting, divorciante, a la misma vez puede ser también exhausting, cansado, right? But it also can be, right? And so, as a consequence, right? Studying means more than reading the textbook. So, in order to make sure that they understand what they read, successful students will also think about how to apply what they have read. So, el estudiar significa más que leer textos. Por lo tanto, para poder asegurarse que, los, que entienden lo que han leído los estudiantes, Successful, exitosos, tendrán que también pensar cómo aplicar lo que han leído. So that is like, so, por lo tanto, you have to do this and this and this. All right. Okay. Eso es como un review. Recuérdense que entre más nos ocupemos, obviamente más se nos va a hacer familiar. Quizás no los conocíamos tanto como coordinating conjunctions o como fanboys, pero si los utilizaban. Decía, I want to be in class, but I don't have the internet. Yes, I want to learn English, but it's very difficult. <laughs> yes, maybe you say, mm, do you want soda or coffee? Yes. We also use them, but maybe we didn't realize unconsciously. Or you say, oh, it's raining, so I won't be able to be in class. Yes? Or I need to learn this topic, so I'm going to check another video. I'm going to complete more exercises. Yes? So maybe you already use them. Okay? But you can also. Look for more information, look for examples, look for videos so that you can get this idea clearer. All right? Questions? Any questions? Dear students, do you have any questions? More questions? No question. Seguros. So we can continue. <laughs> yes. Sure. All right. Sure. Okay, let's go. Here, let me just stop sharing because I'm pretty sure I have something extra here on the manual that probably we haven't noticed before. So, recuerden que acá estaba la explicación de las coordinating conjunctions, en su manual. Yeah. 
Do you remember? Sure, we do. Y after that, tenían como una pequeña task. ¿Quién ya se había percatado de esta pequeña task? Raise your hand, put your hands up. No les creo. Unbelievable. ¿Qué dice? Vamos a ver, Walter. Help us. Ok. ¿En uh, español? No, en inglés. Es ok. Ok, right. A ten, a line review of your favorite restaurant. What service do they offer? What characteristics make this restaurant good? Use comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions. Great. Bye. An interpretation de lo que Mr. Walter les acaba de leer. Ustedes tienen que escribir un review de su favorite restaurant. Ya lo habían dicho, ya lo habían hecho de forma así, verbal. Ya, ya lo habían comentado con sus partners, ya se lo habían contado y bla, bla, bla. Un review de un restaurante no es nada más que su opinión de su favorite restaurant. ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué tipo de restaurante es? ¿Por qué les gusta? ¿Cuáles son las mejores cosas? ¿Cuáles son los mejores platos de ese restaurante? ¿Sí? ¿Yes? ¿Cómo es el service? Todo eso incluye las características, ¿verdad? Cómo es la decoration, el ambiente, el parking, todo esto ya lo habían comentado. Entonces, ahorita escríbanlo. Recuerden, write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. Then you say, oh, my favorite restaurant is la Hacienda Real. <laughs> It's a, an American restaurant style. No, no sé qué es. Ahí, por ahí ya nos van a ayudar. Pero estoy dando el ejemplo, right? Okay, they usually have uh, good desserts, good appetizers, good interests, and the main dishes are really big and tasty, delicious, salads, blah, blah, blah. Yeah? Pueden usar los comparatives. En caso de decir, I think it has uh, a better customer service than any other restaurant in the area. I think the space is bigger than all the restaurants that I have visited. So, pueden usar los comparatives. Pueden usar también los conjunctions, okay? Los coordinating conjunctions. Vamos a dar un par de minutos para que traten de escribir. Si no les salen 10 líneas, pues no pasa nada, pero ustedes hagan el intento. ¿Ya? ¿Yes? Si les salen 5, 6, 7, it's okay. Vamos a dar un par de minutos, luego nos vamos a ir a unas breakout rooms para compartir ese review que ustedes han escrito. ¿Yes? Ok, uh, I have a question. Uh, only if we can share on WhatsApp or in this platform. El writing. Yes. Ustedes pueden tomar foto o hacer un screenshot y ponerlo en WhatsApp if you want. Pero a la hora de compartirlo en el breakout room lo va a tener que leer. Yes. Ok, ok. Mm -hmm. A 
Are we ready? Almost. Not yet. Almost, Almost ready. <laughs> I know. It's all right. In the meantime, I'm going to be creating the breakout rooms. Right? Let's see. Yes. I'm going to be creating around six. I think it would be big. Hey, Maida, welcome. Ayer, ayer medio este, tocamos ese tema, ¿verdad? Ajá. que digamos, bueno, para mí es nuevo el tema porque en, viendo estas que son fanboys, ah, eh, sí, entonces seguro que la, no la gente... Bad. Ajá, ajá. Vaya, entonces aquí como el, el manual pide, ¿verdad? Allí, ajá. esa... Um, que escribamos un, como una reseña de, de 10 líneas, dice, eh, para ver cuál es nuestro restaurante favorito, eh, los servicios que ofrece, 
Y dice de que usemos adjetivos comparativos, porque también ese es un tema que se vio el, el lunes. Ajá, okay. Estuvimos viendo los adjetivos comparativos, entonces, y coordinar conjunciones. Entonces, eso es lo que, lo que, lo que tenemos que hacer ahorita. Okay. Ajá, entonces, no sé si... ¿Ya tiene el manual, Cristi? No, ya lo voy a descargar. Allí creo que lo enviaron al... restaurante. Sí, del, del restaurante que, que consiste como tu favorito. Y usar, uh -huh. bueno, yo entendí que es, hay que usar eso del, del fanboy, ¿verdad? Ah, ¿O no? No, no, no sé, pero yo no lo usé porque no le, no, o sea, no le, no le encuentro la, la, la lógica, o sea. No, como no, imagínate que yo por ejemplo puse, my favorite restaurant is the, uh, Argentina Pampa from 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 Volcambia. I love mm -hmm. it because meat has good flavor. It has very wide parking. The service is excellent and like the the atmosphere a lot. Entonces solo usé dos, creo. Usé el el en y el because. Que aquí dice, como yo estoy acostumbrado a usar esa palabra, pero pude haber usado tal vez por, como la explicación, sí. ¿verdad? ¿Do you finish? I have a question. Um, I write their portions or their plates. ¿Cómo usted quiere? Si se quiere referir a los plates o a los dishes en, ajá, sí, o sea, como ajá, en general, general de la o a las porciones. Yeah, ¿Cómo se quiere? Si se quiere referir a los dishes o a las porciones. De las dos formas se le Ah, ok.
Yes, I believe that I finished too. Okay. I'm sorry. My favorite restaurant is Tacos Hermanos. It's one of the most delicious Mexican food I have tried. Tacos Hermanos is cheaper than Los Cebollines. Their birria tacos are better than La Calaca. Their portions are bigger than El Zócalo. And their natural frozen are more delicious than soda. Okay. Now my my turn. My favorite restaurant in Samuel uh, are are two restaurants: uh, Los Asados del Campo and Tasty Restaurant. The dishes that they offer are very delicious. Um, a relative China. Sí. Restaurant de comida china. Entonces, que a mí me gusta el, el servicio al cliente que ellos tienen, es muy bueno. Okay. Ellos tienen servicio delivery, pero yo prefiero llegar al, al lugar. Ah, ok. Algo así es lo que, lo que hasta ahorita, digamos, he, he hecho. Ok. No sé si, y no eh. sé si Vitalia... Este, ¿Cómo va ahí con su oración? Entonces la tenemos que ir haciendo conforme este, este ejemplo que nos puso ella. Con cada eh, palabrita. Pues, ajá, o sea, sí, vaya, de hecho, yo aquí igual la estoy usando como, eh, como también con, para, eh, superlativo, digamos. Mm -hmm. Entonces, <risas> comparativos también podemos usar de acuerdo a lo que pide ahí la cuando, cuando me toque ir a, a, a la yusa entonces voy a saber si, si, si puedo aplicar el English <risas> a preguntar. cuando empiecen a, ajá, cuando tenga la entrevista <risas> allá con, con el con el cómo se llama consulado con el, con el consulado, con el consulado ¿no? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Yo, huh? How are you, teacher? How are you? <laughs> ah, teacher, teacher is here. Hello, teacher. Está That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> de hecho, yo la, la vez que he hecho la interview, la he in English. No problem, you can do it. Ah, pues no la mandan por eso. Of no le dan el pase. <laughs> <laughs> Una vez y la otra no. <laughs> ah. Y once me dijeron, yes, approve, go, enjoy. La otra vez me dijo, no, porque la vez que, la primera vez que was, I was rejected, en realidad no me quería el consul que iba a ir de vacation. Y en realidad no iba a ir de vacation. <risa> sí, me iba a ir para donde mi hermano, la verdad. Pero oh. my, my brother came back from New York. Ya no vive nadie allá. So the second time I went, yes, they, they approved them porque iba de un programa de intercambio. Oh, But actually, now there are a lot of programs for work. In ah, sí, cierto. Uh -huh. sí, cierto. Sí, Pero sí. Uh, le, me imagino que le, no, sabe mucho inglés, se va a quedar. No, eh, no, 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 re, not really. No, no not really. Uh -huh. <laughs> Siempre cuando tenga como suficientes evidence que va a regresar y, lo, y, le, y le ven que es una persona confiable, le dice, ok, no. Teacher, uh -huh. ¿y usted solo inglés eh, sabe o, o conoce otro idioma? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> no, I study Mandarin, I study French, and I'm studying Italian. Wow. French and Italian? Yes. Seco, oh, cinco, my goodness. Cinco words is um, call center. <laughs> <laughs> my middle name. <laughs> no, no, I, lo, I love morning. languages. Así, literalmente, oh, oh. me gustan mucho los idiomas. Uh, no. Maybe, maybe, si yo hubiera iniciado mucho más chica, hubiera aprendido ya mucho más idioma. En mandarín, definitivamente, I gave up. Eso era como, lo que pasa es que when I was working at ITCA, there was a program of exchange, uh, teníamos como volunteers from Taiwan, y daban muchas becas para ir a Taiwan, pero, literally, era tener por lo menos un nivel intermediate de uh, mandarín. 
y es muy difícil. Es muy difícil porque ni siquiera tienen nuestro propio... O sea, nosotros, digamos, podemos leer y estudiar si las palabras al menos están escritas con nuestro alfabeto, pero ellos no tienen un alfabeto como tal. Uh -huh. Cada palabra uh -huh. es un, un carácter chino. Y hay, Ay, Dios. y hay tantas, pero tantas versiones de Mandarin. O sea, el Mandarin es como la versión moderna del chino. Pero el chino realmente tiene tanto dependiendo de la dinastía. Entonces, las variantes son miles. Oh, I gave up. Yo dije, no, no, ¿En German, no sé. teacher? German, I never tried. I never tried, but lo que sí sé es que English se originó del German. Ajá, ajá. El, ajá eso el, exacto. Tiene muchas similitudes. De hecho, tengo una amiga que nos mandó un montón de souvenirs en German. Por aquí tengo, se los voy a enseñar. Eh, yes, un ratito se los voy a enseñar. Nos mandó right. un montón de cosas en German, pero nunca me ha llamado la atención. Me siento que no, no es como muy aplicable acá, porque es, es far, es far away, la gente no tiene como mucho, no sé, mucha conexión con, con, con la cultura germana, aparte del Oktoberfest, pero <ríe> nadie más sabe nada. Okay. Y en cambio las lenguas romances, que sería Italian, French, y Portugués, son muy parecidas al Spanish, entonces okay. es la misma base con un diferente acento, con una, obviamente, diferente vocabulario. Pero muchas palabras son muy similares. Sí, cierto. Uh -huh. ¿Y usted en inglés tiene acento? No. They say I don't. <risa> de you, hecho, you never try a, a talk with a... a, a American. Uh -huh. No, de hecho, me dijeron que no tengo acento. No tengo acento really? latino. They uh -huh. say que era, lo, que era lo más neutro. Es más, los salvadoreños tenemos el acento más neutro de español. Porque no. I, was teach, I was teaching Spanish to an American. Really? Yeah. Teaching, teaching, teaching Spanish? Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Good Spanish uh -huh. or bad Spanish? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I teach academic. <laughs> oh. Sí, porque lo que habían tenido, él había tenido teacher de, de Colombia, from Colombia and from Cuba. Y más confundido, porque allá de usan demasiadas cosas muy propias de su estructura, uh -huh. entonces nosotros tenemos como el español más estandarizado, más neutro. Uh -huh. sí. No, pero yo tenía un, un, un conocí a alguien que traducía, pero era bien fuerte porque hablaba mucho con la R. I from uh, the, the next time for, for the pitch, y, y se escuchaba bien fuerte. Y yo decía, pero chica, seguramente si yo tenía como, mucho, ese acento es más como hindú, hindú. Como, más, Al... más como indian o bangladeshi. Igual del... a el Rakesh. Is, ajá, Marrakech, exactly. De hecho, sí, bueno, mis, mis estudiantes ya graduados que se van a call center y todo, me dicen que obviamente si están un, en un call center se recibe llamadas de cualquier lado del mundo. Entonces ellos reciben ese tipo y se ponen a imitarlo y eso es bien, bien divertido. Suena muy funny. Okay. Ah. Es funny. Obviously, dependiendo de donde uno esté en la región, así va a tener el acento, pero Latin America de hecho tiene como un poco neutro a la hora de aprender English because lo, la referencia más cercana es American. So, we usually learn American. Yo, yo estaba siguiendo a Holly, no sé si ustedes conocen a Holly. Ho, Holly es una, una chica, creo que gringa, pero habla un español tan perfecto y un inglés yo se le, yo, o sea, lo poquito que entiendo, se lo entiendo. Sí, que la idea de estos videos es, es para, para que entiendan las personas. Y ella está casada con un mexicano. Pero ajá, su ajá. papá, su papá fue eh, maestro, yo creo que está retirado, de muchos idiomas en, en una región indígena de México. Entonces también aprendió idiomas. Entonces ellos son como muy hábiles para aprender idiomas. Eso también ya es como algo... Digamos como un talento que de repente se tiene, como una, una habilidad fuerte. Uh -huh. eh, de hecho, en inglés existe ese, ese reference que dice, you have a knack for language. Cuando a alguien se le facilita, es como, ah, tener como el sentido, como el oído, como el oído musical. Que hay gente que solo ve tocar la guitarra y aprende. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. hay gente que se le facilita. Una vez escucha una palabra, ya la reproduce y la usa perfecto. Por sí. Y hay, ajá, es como esa habilidad. A otros nos cuesta un poco más y tenemos que repasar un poco más. Bastante. Sí, sí, sí. Mayra, a lot. Pero Mayra understands a lot. Capa, 
ya pa. Ajá. Yo sí entiendo. Mara es que... very smart for the Yo soy muy teórica, yeah. creo. Exactly. Ajá, entonces, uh -huh. entonces en este tipo de, de, de curso lo que hay que buscar es como llegarle a los, todos los tipos de aprendizaje. Porque uh -huh. hay muchos que son muy visuales, muy de listening, muy kinesthetic, pero obviamente virtually se hace lo que puede, porque no, no tenemos un classroom como tal o un espacio físico. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we do what we can. Oh, okay. Good, uh -huh. good job, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> you made me feel really, really good. Actually, I was like really surprised, de verdad. I didn't know on Monday. I was like, oh my God, I know this is doing this. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then everybody was like really, really interactive. Yeah, unfortunately for Man and Wendy, ahorita están in the rain. Aquí ya dejo de ver, thank God. Okay. In the house. Mm -hmm. It's still raining. Mm. Yep. Here, stop here and stop. Okay. Yeah. No, ya dejó de llover. It, it, stops, it stops raining. It is it is stop rain. It mm -hmm. is it, stop. El, el pronombre impersonal de cualquier cosa. It it it, it stops, stops raining. Stops raining. Mm -hmm. rain. oh. oh the rain okay. stops. The rain is stop. Mm -hmm. okay. stops. It's, it's easy. The rain is stop. Yeah, the rain stops. Right. Okay, let's go internet. back because everybody must be yeah, desperate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's go. See you. Bye. Hey, hey. How was it? How was the participation? ¿Qué tal les fue? A ver, eso review. No lo vamos a poder escuchar a todos because they are many, so we're going to choose a couple, ¿ok? Vamos a escuchar algunos. Huh, veamos el listado first. Let's see the participants. Todavía no han regresado todos. Algunos estaban engaged in the conversation, creo. <laughs> no voy a esperarlo porque si no, no va a ser fair. It should be fair. Ah, ya están por acá. Welcome back. Vamos a ver. Vamos a escuchar algunos restaurant reviews. The first one would be Nuri. I'm going to elegir four. The next one would be Lucy. The next one would be uh, Walter. And the next one. Sí. Hector. Yes. <laughs> so we have to balance two men, two women. So ladies first. Okay. Yes. So okay. my favorite restaurant is Las Brumas. It is located in the Boqueron Volcano Road. They have delicious food and spectacular views to San Salvador City. There The chicken is better than the beef. The gardens are bigger than the food area. In the night, in the night, the weather is very nice. So I love to go there. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank you, teacher. Let's get a trip to Las Brumas. <laughs> When I we go to San Salvador, I tell It's you. It's true. Because I live in San Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> I know you far, far away. Me. But here you have, away. you have many homes to come to San Salvador, okay? Okay. okay. Yes, welcome. The next person would be uh 
Hello, teacher. Hi, Lucy. Good evening. My favorite restaurant is uh, Faisa do Brasil. It's because it's in a buffet uh, type of restaurant and then uh, offered uh, some special in meals and meat, sorry. And they have a posters of desserts menu for a specific um, dates. Thank you. Wow. So one of the best characteristics of that restaurant is the desserts menu. And what's your favorite dessert? Um, uh, my favorite is tiramisu. That's a dessert made of chocolate and coffee. Yes. <laughs> and it also has ice cream. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Desserts are all good. Yeah, you can say brownie, lemon pie, cheesecake, chocolate cake, fruit cake. A lot of desserts are so good. Yeah, it's my huge temptation. <laughs> All right, the next person. Now, gentlemen. Okay, it's my turn. <laughs> yes. Okay, my favorite restaurant here in San Miguel are two. I add two. Los Asados del Campo and Tasty or Taste. Ah, Los Asados del Campo, where is it located? Uh, it's located uh, on the main street to the Universidad Nacional. Really? To Universidad de Salvador? Yeah, it's near to the Universidad de Salvador. Mm -hmm. and the dishes in both places are great and delicious and relatively cheaper than the other ones. In Los Estados del Campo, for example, you can you can eat in you can eat in a different kind of beef, different of different kind of animals like a cow, bee, chicken, uh, pig, whatever you want to eat uh, re re related with beef. Mm -hmm. uh, like a different kind of beverage you can enjoy that there, mm -hmm. there too. For example, in in taste in tasty restaurant, mm -hmm. you can enjoy or eating delicious pupusas and typical dishes. Typical dishes. Typical, yes. In mm -hmm. other words, Los Sao del Campo and Tasty Restaurant are the great uh, services for for me. Mm -hmm. uh, Los Asados del Campo, for example, is bigger than Tasty Restaurant. Mm -hmm. And Tasty Restaurant is obviously is smaller than the other one, but they offer a uh, typical dishes. And I think it's cheaper. Yes. Yes, definitely. Because it's not the same to go and pay for a dish of raw beef than buying three pupusas, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's <indeed>. more affordable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Good job. So the recommendations from Walter when we go to Samuel would be Los Asado del Campo and Taste. Yes, that, there are a lot of places that uh, here that you can uh, enjoy yeah, different believe, kind of dishes. I believe, I have, yes. I have watched a lot of videos on YouTube and they, Samuel, hmm, they have really, really great places to eat. Yes. Right, all right. And the last but not least, me, <laughs> Hector, no. the service at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I remember in San Miguel, uh, I saw the Mama Gallina. I don't know if it exists. That's the name of a place, of a restaurant. <laughs> yes, yes, there is exist. They are very creative really? with the names. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like, La panita va al mercado de rebozo y de <laughs> yeah, I imagine the logo of the restaurant. <laughs> yes, and there is uh, Papagayo too. Really? Oh, ah, yes. Ah, it's the competencia. 
And, and, and there is the same owners. Oh, really? Ah, yes. So they have the whole family of the chickens. All the family. Yes. <laughs> All the family. The little chicken. <laughs> now <Yes>. they're children. <laughs> the okay. children, little chicks. All right. Funny. I want to talk about a Lisa Ran restaurant. Lisa Ran? I don't know. The, I, uh, the pronunciation for me is Lisa Ran. Restaurant Where is that? in in the Multiplaza. Oh, really? It's very, it's very small. Uh, it's very good for family event, mm -hmm. and uh, the cost is reasonable. But have a trick. This uh -huh. restaurant have a trick because the waiter asks ask for uh, or offer 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 the a uh, little little stuff like a little hamburger. Little hot dogs, uh, little all, oh, all the mm -hmm. But is the uh, at the finally when you uh, ask for you for for a uh, your a, main a, dish. Uh huh. You you have a, a, this very very expensive because it's a little little thing have a different price. Uh -huh. Maybe a uh, two dollar three dollar in in. So they have little entries, but when you ask for the real food, it's really expensive. Yeah, hmm. maybe your 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 uh, your dish may have a seven dollar, but yeah. uh, with this different kind, uh, it's a cost very. So the very total, much. the total cost at the mm -hmm. end of the, of the it, bill it's, it's, is expensive. It's, yep, mm -hmm. it's good. A good flower, but have a district. Good flavor, good taste. Yep. yep. All right. Yeah, I think it reminds me of, I don't know if you've ever been to that. I think it's a place of, what is the name of it? I don't know. People might say that I know this place because, but I don't drink, just to clarify, okay? I don't criticize people who love drinking. It's fine if they want to do it. But I know this place, La Chapultepec, that you can buy a lot of snacks, you know? I bought tostadas, nachos, potatoes, a lot of snacks. But at the end, yeah, it, it gets a, lot, a, a high price because people are, you know, like eating these little snacks and they are probably drinking a couple of beers. But at the end, you pay high price. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, I tried the tostadas, you know, the toasts with shrimps are really good. Okay, yes, I wish I could hear all of you, but since we are a bit uh, behind time, we're just going to, to yes, tell uh, me. Sorry, uh, can I share my opinion about the restaurant? Sure, go ahead. Okay, uh, my favorite restaurant is the Brothers Tacos for the variety of delicious Mexican food, then all for them, and also the good service. Um, I consider that the Brothers Tacos is cheaper than La Calaca. And my favorite starter is Nachos Elegantes. But my main and delicious thing is Berrias Tacos or Tortilla Soup. Um, I like all the Mexican food, not only for the flavor, if, um, if not also for the spicy uh, sauce. Uh -huh. I'm sure that the quality is highest in this restaurant and I know that I have a lot of to taste yet. Uh, the old variety of food that they offer and for another hand in this restaurant we can find desserts and one of the most delicious for me is plan de cajeta. It has a it has an excellent flavor. I love it, and I recommend you this place um, more if you are a lover of Mexican food. Wow, you are exactly like Adriana. She talks about the same place, and she loves it too. Yes, Los Hermanos, right? It's yes, one of the most delicious Mexican food I have tried. And why haven't I been there? I don't understand. I'm a, I'm a Mexican food lover myself, too. <laughs> and you need to it. Very yeah. famous. Yeah, I, I heard Adriana said they are in Multiplaza and... 
San Benito. Mm -hmm. And now in Venecia, when you said, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, I saw the publicity on social media. I think I'm going to go, well, this weekend I can because, because two of my friends have invited me on Saturday and then Sunday. Imagine, and I'm trying to lose weight. Impossible. <laughs> I can't. I'm just, I'm just not able to. So the second attendance, I'm sorry, let's go really quick. Adriana. Present. Amilcarn. Carlos. Present. Ay, me resigné. He's not here, the third class. Cristina. Present. <laughs> okay, Elsie. Present teacher. Fatima. Present teacher. Thank you. Germán creo que tenía issues con su connection. Uh, Hector. Here, teacher. Isabel. Same. Catherine. Lucy, Here, teacher. Mayra. Present. Le dio lata, Mayra, este, este Zoom. Sí, pero ya <ríe> con el ID lo hice. Excelente, ya ve, ya no están solo resolviendo issues aquí del inglés, sino que de technology también. Okay, Nuri. Sí. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Oh no, Sam is celebrating his daughter's sweet 15. Yo me recuerdo por qué no está. Vitelia. Present. Walter. Present teacher. Wendy. No ha logrado Wendy llegar. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Sí, el puente. Teacher, you didn't, you didn't mention me. Really? Lucy. Really? Ya es costumbre. Ok. Skipping Lucy. Sorry, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. I ah, but I mentioned Mayra. You didn't tell me anything. Justo ahí me acababa de saltar. Thank you. And Wendy sigue en el puente, pobrecita. And Irma. Present teacher. Hey. Me costó también conectarme. Sí, me imagino. ¿Y logró arreglar lo de su compu? No, todavía está. Eh, fue la pantalla. Supuestamente tiene este, humedad, pero saber ah, de dónde, porque yo no, la cuido tanto. ¿en serio? Así que eh, estoy esperando que me le cambien la pantalla. Ay, pero ya tiene quién. Sí, sí. Ah, vaya, sí, sí, porque si no le iba a recomendar ahí en la pulga. <risa> pero es true, la gente <risa> piensa que es, un, que es un joke, pero es true. Mire, yo le voy, a, le voy a contar el teléfono. Yo tenía una semana de haberlo sacado y, lo, y, lo, y le presioné la pantalla con el freno de mano del carro. Ay. Ay, jamás me había pasado, jamás me había pasado en toda mi whole life. Eso me dolió, como no sabe, más en el bolsillo. Sí. Una pantalla de un Samsung costó $150 haciéndome precios, pero lo dejaron exactly the same. Hey, Christy, long time no see you. <ríe> Apareció Christy. ¿Qué le había pasado? Why didn't you come? Um, DC. Issue communication. <ríe> Communication issues. ¿Qué pasó? Ahora me llamaron y me dicen, no se ha conectado. Y yo, ¿qué? No sé. ¿En, que... ¿En cuál clase me escribí de usted? Sí, entonces creo que hubo un problemita de comunicación ahí. Sí, de hecho yo la vi en el listado y yo dije, me parece que es de Saint Christie. Me pasa lo mismo a mí también, Tichi. Really? Ajá. Ouch. Y el problema es que dos clases, ¿verdad? Y usted, ay, mi, mi 100%. Pero hoy son 25, ¿ya se dieron cuenta? Que son 25 clases. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo es? Excuse me. 25. 25. De hecho, yo no, no me había, no sé, no me había percatado de recordarles que después de Basic, ya en Intermedia ya no son 20 clases, there are 25. So, son five weeks. Yes. More intensive. <laughs> Aquí está Christmas, mamá. <laughs> oh. We wish a Merry Christmas. All right. 
No, para que se vayan ya haciendo la idea, mentalizando, no hay que desaparecer la última semana. So don't worry, maybe your, your 100% se, afe, se afectó, pero levemente, not too much. Ok. Great. Ok, veamos. Habíamos estado hablando de <coughs> favorite restaurants y todo eso para los que ya lograron uh, como ponerse un poquito al día, ¿verdad? Con su manual. Veamos, los menus generalmente tienen como different categories, ¿yes? Entre ellos están los, los drinks, los desserts, ¿qué otros habrían? Mm -hmm. Drinks, desserts. The hot drinks. Uh -huh. Hot drinks, cold drinks. ¿Qué otros grupos de teorías? The kids. Salad. Salads. Ok, kids menu también. Uh -huh. Generalmente para los niños ponen como unos menús más chiquitos o cosas que más les gustan a los niños, right? Uh -huh. Salads. Meal. ¿Cómo Sorry? se eh, Meal. Ah, the main dish or meats. Meal, es, ajá, eso va a depender chicken, mucho del tipo pork. de restaurant, right? Ah, ok. Ajá, sí, es. Uh, ah, restaurant. ¿Cómo do you say uh, porciones? Portions. Portions. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. All right. Yes, those, that depends because if it is a Chinese restaurant, if it is a meat restaurant, They usually call it like beef, right? Mm -hmm. Or yeah, sometimes roast beef or uh, roast chicken they have together. Uh -huh. Grills. Uh -huh. Grills. Right, grill. Grills as well. Or if they are, what else? Salvadorian restaurants, Salvadorian style restaurant, right? Like the typical restaurants or if their specialty is hamburgers or pizzas or Italian food, right? So it depends. But usually they have these three things, starters, main dish, and dessert. Hold on. Main dish is una sola cosa, no son dos cosas diferentes. So main dish, the coma should be here. Main dish es que el plato fuerte, el plato principal. Y el starter, en este caso, sería lo que ustedes dicen el appetizer, la entrada, right? Ahí es donde le, después se hace grande la cuenta desde por acá. Ok, what's your favorite starter? What's your favorite main dish? And what's your favorite dessert? So... You can say, oh, my favorite starter is, uh, I don't know, a tortilla soup or a little tortilla soup or some nachos or some cheese sticks, right? So sometimes we add something to wait for the main dish, right? So en lo que uno está esperando porque le sirvan el plato principal, está como... You know, eating something little, supposedly. Sometimes uh, the starters are also salad, to be salad, right? It could be also vegetable, probably, right? A healthy, healthy food. But sometimes it's nachos or chili or stuff like that. It depends on the kind of restaurant, right? That's and, nice. Yes. And the main dish and the dessert. So we're going to talk about this, right? Algo que vamos a conversar ahorita. Okay, usually the menus have like different sections, as I was telling you before. You know, like starters. Obviously, this must be like Mediterranean style restaurant, right? Like goat cheese salad. Aquí no hay ningún lugar que sirva queso de cabra. No, right. <laughs> So this is too exotic for us, for Salvadorian taste, right? So goat cheese salad. la leche de cabra, teacher. Yeah, it's true, but the people usually buy it at the market, right? Not necessarily going to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. 
So they say to scan garden salad. This is just an example, right? And the main dish, or they usually call it, yeah, the main meal, the main dish, right? So they salmon, lemon butter sauce, baby racks of, of lamb with French herbs and spice. So this depends definitely of the type of restaurant, right? The stars, white chocolate cheesecake, passion fruit cake. And this is something that we're going to describe, that we're going to discuss, okay? Have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? All-you-can-eat? All-you-can-eat is similar to... Oh, no, you pay a price, and for that price, you can eat as much as you can, right? Yes. That is the idea of all you can eat. So it's different from the buffet. Because in the buffet is similar to all you can eat, but you can go and pick. But in all you can eat, it's only one type of food, but as much as you want. But you cannot take home to go, and you cannot share with another person, right? So I remember all you can eat probably in Buffalo Wings. There's this uh, offer, I guess. And there was also another place for tacos. That was all you can eat in tacos. But you also have to pay, I mean, to pay a price, right? And uh, Pueblo Viejo too. Yes, they used to have it, right? For breakfast, I think. Yes. Like you could eat like four pupusas, eggs, bacon, yes, tamales. juice, tamales, a lot of food, it's true. So let's say all you can eat sometimes is similar to buffets, right? So, but in buffets, it's sometimes you can pick whatever you want. And in all you can eat, you can also have the service to the table. All right. So this is something that we're going to be discussing, right? And those are some of the questions. Yes, okay, as um, menus, you know, like different type of services, different type of uh, food, different type of, of, of restaurants, different categories. So you're going to tell your partner about your favorite starter, your favorite main dish, and your favorite dessert. And you also will share the experience if you have the experience of going to all you can eat and why why do you like this type of offers from a restaurant yes is that clear paraphrasing we will talk about favorite a starter a starter is the appetizer right something that you say if i go to the restaurant i'm going to ask for that appetizer yes like uh, potato soup or a specific type of salad or nachos, right? Or if you say, okay, if I have the opportunity to go to a restaurant, my main dish is this and this and this. And if I have the opportunity to go to all you can eat, I will do it or I, I don't like to do it or I think it's too expensive because I don't, <laughs> I can't eat all that food or the price sometimes is really high and after one or two dishes, I am full and I think it's, it's very high price. So I don't think I take advantage because some people do. I mean, some people really eat and eat and eat and eat a lot. So the price is cheap at the end, right? <laughs> so those people really take advantage of all you can eat. But if you only eat, uh, one or two portions then why do you pay all you can eat you can pay a, a lower price right so this is the idea that we share okay we share we have some conversations with i i'm gonna share also the slides for you to to guide for you to have the the questions available but we're going to make different groups so that we can work with another person and here you go. I'll share this the, the screenshots on WhatsApp, okay? Yes? Cool. Let's go.
Yep. If, uh, if, if, are you, do you live uh, where do you live to Santo Tomas? It's yep. more it's more easy. Yep, it's, 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 it's easy. And uh, uh, Zacatecoluca, the street is very, very pretty. Oh, okay. in, yeah. uh, good, good, good for dry. It's a new way. Yep, it's new way. Very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> The okay. uh, pista. Ajá, la pista porque es como más fácil. Entradas, pues, ah, como, que es pan con ajo. Comida rápida. Ajá, digo yo, Esta pero. No sé. Ah, vaya, así como más general. ¿verdad? Ajá, ahí, y ahí hay de todo, o sea, hay entradas, hay. Bebidas frías, también los cofres, plato principal. Ajá. Bueno, entonces, eh. Eh, ¿cómo empezaremos la conversación? Siempre como, hi, how are you? Ajá, sí. Sí, la introducción. ¿Por qué? Vaya, no sé ¿Cómo? si gustan, empiezo yo. Le digo... Hi girls, how are you? Uh, welcome to the restaurant, pizza, what? <laughs> pizza, mm, nombre ahí, ir más pizza. <laughs> Ajá, exacto. Vaya, pero entonces, vaya, somos, pero como somos cuatro, no, perdón, somos tres, eh, ¿cómo nos mm -hmm. vamos a repartir los papeles? Digamos, eh, Irma, usted lo que nos va a atender y nosotros con él si sí llegamos al restaurante. Ok. Pregunto. Ah, sí, estamos, estamos bien. Eh, ¿Estamos bien? Ah. Entonces empezaría a ir, ¿verdad? Eh, Permítame. Denos la bienvenida, a Irma. Ajá, exacto. Ah, Um, welcome, welcome, uh, Irma's Pizza. Así sería, ¿verdad? Yes. Bienven sí. Bienvenido a. Ajá, uh -huh. welcome to Irma's yeah. Pizza. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto. Um, welcome, Irma's Pizza. Um, ¿Cómo sería ahí? Ay, nunca he estado en el... Quiero oh, ver. Nunca, <ríe> nunca estaba atendiendo el restaurante. <ríe> um... Vaya allí, usted podría... Hablando de marico. <ríe> is my favorite restaurant is Puerto Marisco. <ríe> Porque hablamos de marico. <ríe> Pero si hablamos de otro tipo, son otros. <ríe> And you? Uh, for me, all, all restaurant uh, with, um, with 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 dish different. My favorite is um, Pampa Argentina. For 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 you, flock. What is it? Flock. What is it? Sabor. Flower. Flower. Posizo? Flavor. 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 Okay. Yes. Flavor. Uh -huh. Or taste. Flavor. Um, my favorite appetizer is cream, but, um, but in Papa Argentina, it's no, do not, no, it's not. Um, They don't have ribs. ¿Cómo? No tienen ribs. No, no tienen wings. They, they don't. Only <laughs> soups. Only soups, it's true. <laughs> si le dan una entrevista, There is soup. Potato soup. soup. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pero a la y apetece es wing. Beef. Wing. Alright. My favorite 
make dishes is beef on all restaurants. Is a is a lot a lot. De nosotros. Este, uh -huh. Bueno, uh -huh. Catherine diría a table for two people, please. Uh -huh. Y ahora Irma. Uh -huh. Irma nuevamente. Eh, o oh, también usted, él sí le podría pedir el menú para que ella después nos diga que nos puede ofrecer. Digo yo, pienso, no sé. Ajá. Eh. Para que vayamos eh, participando por igual. Ay, así sería. Sí, por así más o menos. Eh, y el, y el no sería, restaurante ¿sabes? favorito. Por Apple. Ajá. Apple Pie. Apple Pie. 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 Beautiful. And the meal is. And soya? La pampa argentina. También. Ahí sirven eso. <laughs> yes, sí. sí. En, en, eso y mucho más. Bueno, como cambian, este, según la locación, este, tienen un poco de diferente en sus platillos. Uh -huh. No, ¿para qué sirven esto? Este uh -huh. pie de manzana. Sí. Así que sí, ahí, eh, a, 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 pues, ahí esa me gustaba. La teacher también es bien amante de la, de la Mexican food, ya que está ahí. Hola, teacher. <risa> hey, how was the rain? <risa> Horrible, teacher. Hoy sí, hoy sí me ha costado. <risa> Pero, sí, ¿verdad? Pero aquí estoy. No, pero es que mire, desde la afternoon ni siquiera había rain y ya está horrible. ¿Y qué, sabe cuál ¿Pero es? que está lloviendo? No, ni, no estaba lloviendo cuando yo venía y me tardé casi dos horas en venir. Sí, y, y yo tuve el problema que en el kilómetro 4, subiendo los planes, uh -huh. se quedó un arrastre. Ay, o sea, no. Eso me, me, a mí me, mm. me, me complicó cuando yo le dije, estaba en la plena. Sí, no, no, y de hecho se escuchaba como súper lejos y aquí estaba lloviendo también bien fuerte. Sí. Pero ahorita Mira. ya no, ahorita está como bien, bien leve la lluvia. Aquí sí ya, ya paró de llover, mm. pero sí. Ya, ya, ya. No, hombre, la pobre Wendy estaba en un puente, aparte que ella anda en una motorbike, imagínate. Sí, es cierto. Sí. Yo, ay, no, pobrecita. Es bien, es, es bien ranger. Sí, bien atrevida, porque chico, tú a popa. Sí. Y va sola en la oscuridad en esa motorbike. Ay, no, pero dice que prefiere eso. Andar en bus. Ajá. Así me dijo a mí también. Sí, pobrecita, no sé si habrá llegado. Y si llegó, llegó bien, empapada, la pobre. Sí, más que está bien jovencita. Sí, sí, una cipota. Sí. Ay, es bien no. aventada. Ya le voy a preguntar si está bien, porque estoy ahí con el pendiente. Ay, no. Está. Estamos hablando ahí sobre, por ejemplo, cuál es eh, su, eh, no sé, espérame, ya se me olvidó. Favorite, Favorite dessert. starter. Que es como ah, plato, appetizer. Ajá, uh -huh. starter. No, no starter no es. or appetizer, cualquiera de los dos está bien. Ah, ok, uh -huh. appetizer. ¿Qué uh -huh. es plato como el de entrada? Ajá, el de entrada, o lo que usted es un aperitivo. Ok. Fátima, eh, Fátima says, eh, uh -huh. she says que the nachos. But sometimes you ask for for the starter in nachos and then they give you a big order of nachos and you don't want to continue eating. But nachos for la calaca. Uh-huh, yes, those are really good. Yes. Those are really, really good. Ya vi que le dije, Fatima. <laughs> 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 yes, I love Mexican food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo vi que estaban armando la vez pasada para ir. <laughs> yes, ya casi tenemos esta. No, y ahora ya nos salió otra. 
con... ¿Cómo es que se llama, Nuri? When she comes to San Salvador, she says she's going to take us to las brumas in, in el volcán. ¿Ay, ay, qué? I don't know what type of food, pero de lo que ella habló es de la vista y de todos los lo, lo gardens pues sí. y todo. Pero I don't know the food. <laughs> Ahí es por el trip. Sí, sí, ya. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, vista se dice. The place, the view. The view is... is, is, is mm -hmm. And she Beautiful. says that if you um, go at night, the view the is weather very is, nice. Oh, yes, the weather is very cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, but the full... Uh, Average. It's uh, okay. Mejor vaya una pupusería aquí. There are better in los planes. Sí, o sea, Ay. por lo que va a ir a pagar allá y por lo que le dan. Yo estoy estresada con eso de los planes. Jamás encuentro parqueo. Ah, no, es horrible. Jamás, te juro. I never, never find a parking space. Sí, aquí Me es. termino yendo al parque Balboa. <risa> solo, solo de ahí puedo comer pupus. <risa> Vaya la luz y de ese lado. Ah, en Olocuilta bueno. es rica la pupus. Oh, yes, en Olocuilta es true. Ahí dice el parqueo. Sí. Fátima es para Olocuilta, ¿y sí? Ah. Oh. Ya tenemos otra opción. <risa> de, de, de paciencia, de la, de la propuesta de la paciencia, desde ahí, ¿verdad, Fátima? Ajá. Pero también. we went, we went, no me acuerdo cuál era el nombre, pero todas las propuestas que están literalmente en ese, en, entre la carretera, they are really good. Porque nosotros llevábamos, quiero ver, como... 60 students, entonces nos dividimos en grupos de 7 o 6 con cada teacher para no llegar y atascar una sola pupusería. Y yo fui, and they were really good. Vaya, teacher, uh -huh. para el final de Podemos este, hacer estos trips este también. Ciclo, sí. <risa> Espera que vaya a ver usted, porque si no así como está, con todas las cosas. El karaoke va, teacher. Cabal, el karaoke también. We are pending ahí. <risa> Bueno, in my case, uh, my favorite restaurant is Italian food, um, Olive Garden. Uh, I, uh, my appetizer. Uh, do you know El Rosal restaurant? I see and I listen, but I never go okay it's good but the meal uh, uh there are yeah. i think get get sick sick get sick, sick in the stomach, sick, the for, stomach. for the for the show i don't like and it's not uh, recommendation it's no. uh, that kind of uh seafood no the infection, the stomachal infection is very, very oh, strong. It's very serious. Very yes. serious. So yes. bad, so bad. <laughs> no, the only fish in very, very uh, fried or soap. Yes. But no, okay. no. ¿Cómo sería crudo? Uh, how do you say crudo, teacher? I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Yes. Oh, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Like, uh, ¿cómo se llama que compran los chinos? Uh, they eat... Sushi. Sushi. Oh, yeah, but that's oh. Japanese. Uh, yeah, Japanese. Japanese. Uh -huh, yes, Japanese. but also uh -huh. Peru. Yeah. Rasties, they actually eat... Actually, it's uh, rasties. What, what, is, what is the ceviche? They eat raw fish. Ah, ceviche. No, mm -hmm. no, I don't like... No. Mm -mm. I tried ceviche once, but it was good. It was really good. But just once, and it was... I don't the chili and lemon. A lot, a lot. They put a lot of pepper, <laughs> lemon, a lot of this juice, and the and the pieces are very, very thin. It's como una piecita, pero muy delgadita. The cuts are really, really thin. And it was in Las Gardenias. I don't know if they disappear, but there used to be this place called Las Gardenias. Uh, from Fusal, I guess. Gardenias. Gardenias. So that was a place in Santa Elena. So mm -hmm. for one cocktail, they gave us 
this this type no it was not sushi it was ceviche and it was good that was the only time that's the only time that i tried ceviche very expensive teacher <laughs> no it no. was it was a christmas celebration so it was free for us all the okay it was free it was not all you can eat it's because it, yeah it was it was cocktail so oh, they, okay. they usually give little snacks very little mm -hmm. things like samples <laughs> but it was good i liked it oh yeah, mm -hmm. okay okay it's good is yes if, if for example there are many teacher yesterday i confused no, it was not your turn. I told you it was a milker's turn. It's today. Okay. <laughs> I told you to get I... ready. Por eso no le contesté, because I saw your message a little late, and I said, nah, don't worry. I come back uh, uh, to the session. The connection, connection again. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher disappeared, you see. <laughs> it's all right. Tonight, yes, in this class. Don't worry. All right, so talking about food and main dishes, starter, desserts, like, quiero que escriban las tres oraciones. My favorite starter is blah, 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 blah. My favorite main dish is blah, blah, blah. My favorite dessert is blah, blah, on the chat. Obviously, lo que tienen. Computers se les hace mucho más fácil comentar aquí en el chat. See? Yeah. A ver, can you help us? Zoom. Yes, here on Zoom. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Oh, bread with garlic or garlic bread. True, because his favorite food is Italian. Is garlic bread? <laughs> yeah, you can say bread with garlic or garlic bread. Okay. It's all right. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Laughing. Yeah. Al consomé en salad. <laughs> nice. I go, I, yeah, I know beef. Beef restaurants have this little stock, I guess it's consomme, and it's really good. They put lemon, a little bit of pepper, that's really yes, good. Yes, yes, very delicious. Mm -hmm. Especially when the weather is a little bit cold. My favorite starter ever is a salad or consomme tail cow, really. Tail, that tail exists. is... Tail? Exists eso. Cola de, sí. De cola. la cola de res. Sí, nunca la he probado. Yes, that is true. Yes, teacher. Ay, es como lo que dicen que comen tacos de lengua. ¿Qué rayo es? No, teacher. Ah, no. No, 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 no. It's very good, no, teacher. No. I can't believe it. No, también hay tacos de ojo. Teacher, usted, usted nunca ha viajado a México. Tacos de cabeza, delicioso. De seso, sí. Nunca, nunca wow, he viajado a México. Cala, no. I never been to Mexico, but I wish I could. Debería ir al Zócalo. Debería. Al Zócalo. They eat all these organs of animals. Yeah. Bueno, paremos aquí esta, esta, esta activity porque ya no. Vaya. Vamos a leer lo que están. Okay, car appetizers with caramelized onion. Oh, wow, that sounds good. Uh, esa de, de la tail of the cow no me suena, pero bueno. <laughs> okay, it's yours, no man. <laughs> okay, my favorite dish or main dish is lasagna, all right. Beef or chicken or vegetables? Mm. Uh, both 
a mix. No, chicken, chicken, chicken. is chicken. You'd rather have chicken. Uh, Nachos and beans. Sauce. Yes, before you have normal, normal things like that. <laughs> okay, nachos and beans, nachos and chili, those are good. Nachos with chili, uh huh. My favorite starter is fresh salad, green salad, vegetable salad. Okay, my favorite starter is chilachos, yeah, like a that's a really good one. And the main dish is tortuga de. Oh my god, what is that? Chilorio. No? El, uh, es similar torta a tu torta. Torta mexicana. Uh -huh. En la calaca. And what is special for the name? El chilorio es la carne como especial de, del restaurante. Ah, uh, it's the specialty uh -huh. of the restaurant. All right, nice. Another target. Rica, similar to birria. No. It's better. Better. A lot better, okay. My favorite appetizer is wings. My favorite main dish is beef. And my favorite dessert is cheesecake. Huh? Good. <laughs> All right, my favorite starter is garlic bread. Yeah, my favorite starter is mozzarella sticks and ring. Uh, okay, onion rings. Chicken breast. All right, that's a good one. My favorite starter is our salad with lettuce, tomatoes, carrots. Favorite main dish is fish steak with bread, potatoes. For the dessert, I like apple pie. That's great. My favorite main dish is salmon with green beans. Oh, salmon fillet with green beans. My favorite, my favorite main dish is mariscada. How do you say mariscada? Mm -hmm. uh crow i don't know it's que tiene todo el montón de 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 animalitos del mar okay so <laughs> so usually they call it seafood soup imagine sounds kind of redundant but that's how they call it sea seafood soup okay my main dish is meat or chicken and the dessert apple pie my main dish is salmon yes we read this one before yeah we're green beans right my favorite fish my favorite dish is fish or fried fish my best dessert is cornflake or cuff cake no, oh, coffee, coffee, coffee cake, coffee cake. ah uh -huh. Okay. It's cornflake. That's for breakfast. <laughs> that is good too. <laughs> it's good too. Yes, cornflakes. Uh, champion, <laughs> yes. champion. Uh... <laughs> no, but coffee cake is also really good. I agree. My favorite main dish is entrails, entrails and seafood. Hmm. Explain, no so Explain, please. Esas son las entrañas. Exacto. Ay, ¿por qué la insistencia con los órganos de los animals? No, porque la entraña es un, una, es un tipo un corte de carne. Es really? un corte. Es un corte de carne, oh, pero es. Excuse es, me. Es, es, tiene un poquito más de grasa y como ah, tiene más grasa tiene un sabor bien rico. Really. Una, sí. It's very It's soft. soft. Excuse sí. my ignorance. The highest price. Mm. <laughs> ya ve que bueno, nos tenía las, que, que dar el lecture. De las entrañas o de las partes, digamos, de la vaca se hace la sopa de, de pata, ¿no? No sé si la han probado. La sopa de mondongo que generalmente no, se le conoce. Sí. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Deliciosa. <laughs> Very good. After Christmas. <laughs> January 1st. Uh -huh. But no, I don't like pata soup either. It can no, no level chiste, honestly. Drunk soap. <laughs> mm -hmm. To recover. <laughs> okay. My... Acá le llaman levanta muerto. Uh -huh. to I recommend the Trania, Revive, huh? I recommend the Trania. Really? <laughs> Trains, yeah. Tendría que pensarlo first. My favorite dessert is cheesecake. No, es un trozo de carne. 
Teacher. Really, just like like a beef steak. Yeah. yeah. Es, es el corte de la, de, la, de, la, de la pancita de la vaca. Es una tira nada más. No son gruesas. Really? Es, yeah. Y es eh, asada es, como dice Carlos. Good. Tasty. Very good. Mm. Maybe next time I'm going to consider that. Okay. Ya la tripa es otra cosa. <ríe> ya la tripa va en la sopa que dice Walter. Mm -hmm. <ríe> Okay, my favorite dessert is cheesecake, I agree. My favorite dessert is fruit salad. Oh, wow, how healthy. Isabel, si se ve que es el. Ha de pasar ahí en el big kit, en three hours, pero. Before class. <laughs> Isabel only eats salads. Ah. Okay, my favorite dessert is the diplomatic. What is that? The Mr. Hernandez, solo no quiere estar confundiendo. No. What uh, is it? In the desert, uh, bring liquor. Ah, oh, liquor. Liquor. Mm. Yes, I heard somebody said, uh, but it's, how do they call it? Mm. Like to make the digestions, like to soften the process of digesting the food. Como para hacer la digestión, alguien, alguien dijo algo así. Like, once we went to have lunch and they say... Uh, Pineapple hole. Oh, uh, piña asada. Ajá. Uh -huh. Like, roast pineapple. Pineapple. Similar, similar to that. Ajá, uh -huh. they say that they can have a chat. They... I don't remember the name of the liquor. I'm, I'm very bad with that, okay? I'm sorry, my apologies. All right. So, did you talk about all you can eat? Have you ever been to any of this type of offers in a restaurant? Do you think it's a good option or it's not your favorite? Yes. It could be. It's a possibility you consider to have a buffet or all you can eat. The Cameron buffet. <laughs> the Cameron, yes, I heard. But they say, said, uh -huh. if I said Brazil, uh -huh. all you can eat. Also, Astaria. and how long can you stay? One hour, two hours, all day? Todo lo que se quiere estar ahí. Like all morning, all afternoon until you cannot eat anything else. Okay, sounds like a good option as well, right? So I was mentioning, you know, like this is only an example, okay? I'm not saying, <laughs> okay, all the restaurants have this a very, very similar menu. What is an example of menu, right? Of the different categories, right? So in this case, this is, um, uh, bar and grill restaurant. So they have the main dishes, they have the steaks, uh, drinks, they also have cold beer, wine, salads, and snacks. I don't see oh, desserts. Do you see any desserts? No, right? So probably for some people, this is not a, a good option because you want to have dessert when you go to a restaurant, right? But for some people that love steaks and love drinking, probably it's a good option, right? So people prefer just, okay. But these are some of the categories a menu can have. And we also had this conversation, but in this case, the conversation is not between customers. The conversation is between people who work at a restaurant or manage a restaurant, right? So they are talking about the reviews, how the customers accept one dish or maybe how customers don't really accept a dish, right? It can be a starter, main dish or a dessert or a drink, right? So I don't know if you have noticed that in some restaurants lately, when you pay, when you pay the bill, when you finish 
the meal when you want to leave they usually give you a link okay to provide some feedback about the service or some feedback about the the taste or the amount of food and if you complete this survey on their web pages they usually give you something for free like an extra snack or an extra drink or for the next time that you visit then you can get a discount right so people who work in restaurants people who manage restaurants are really interested in knowing about your feedback so this is something that we're going to study yes on the next class because it's time and you have this conversation also okay on your manual so check it out read it they are talking about the different foods on the menu and the and the acceptance that this uh dishes have from the customers right so this is something we're going to review tomorrow so don't worry too much about now yes just carlos will stay because it's his opportunity to have the one-on-one -on -one session let me just finish with the attendance the last time because yes. of the requirements okay yes. sorry teacher yes, uh, tell I, me. I, 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 have a, I have a question tell about me, me. the homework that is mm -hmm. on the platform I don't know I, what we are what we are going to do with uh, some kind of videos that I, that there are on the platform. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a little comments about that. I don't no, know. it's just to practice, just to watch them, just to expand the vocabulary and ideas regarding the topics. Because there are on a space that there is a pot for a, for a, a little pot. I don't know. That you can post a comment? Yes, there is there are a space for a post. All right, let me check it out. Let's see. If you want to leave a comment, let's see. Okay. Maybe it's optional. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let me see. No, I think it's optional if you want to comment something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it, when, when you finish the, the homework, is mm -hmm. the march shake is appear. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh yes. Let me let me ask. Let me have this is this idea straight and clear for tomorrow, and then I let you know. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Adriana. Present. Carlos. Present, teacher. Cristina. Elsie. Present. Martina. Present, teacher. Present, Ay. teacher. Fernan. Present, teacher. Hector. Present, teacher. Isabel. Present, teacher. Catherine. Present, teacher. Lucy. Present. <laughs> Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present. Roberto. Present. Vitelia. Present. Vitelia. Walter. Here. Irma. Present. Teacher. Okay. All right. So remind me about this question tomorrow, Walter, please. Okay. okay. Bye, bye. And the rest. Okay. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Thank bye you, teacher. Bye. 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 bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you for all. Thank you.